Um, lady, so great to have the opportunity to chat with you today. How's everything going? It's good. Great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for your time. I love this film. I really, really loved it. Honestly, I was so engrossed in the relationship, in your road trip, so much to talk about. So Mindy, let's start with you. Um, okay. I, I, you know, you and Jen, you're old pals. It's not like you guys hadn't met, met each other before and threw each other into a car together and it was like, let's do this. So, right. to, you know, pretty much you'd worked together before. Tell me a little bit about how um, this all came together and why you decided to write this film. Um, well, it started out as a um, small panic because I was going to turn 40 and I hadn't made a feature film yet. My uh, then husband just got back from India and uh, we were talking about going on vacation. And then we said, why would we spend money to go on vacation when we could just fund a movie and go shoot a feature film ourselves before I turn 40? Sounds like a great plan. Um, and so we pitched Jen with this uh, super engrossing um, horror road trip <laughs> in which she promptly said no. And said, um, <laughs> Mindy, <laughs> what are you doing? Um, it's like, we've talked about um, our, our, our illnesses, our chronic illnesses, which we have in real life. We've talked yeah. about having those um, be represented in characters. She said, why aren't we doing that? Why aren't, why aren't we doing that? And I was like, okay, would you like to come help me write it? and be a producer on this and and then I mean also there was some kismet stuff happening because she had two weeks a lot off. of kismet stuff um uh, she had two weeks off just that's it 14 days free yeah um uh in between semesters um our our Chris Lyon our producer and um audio guy that came with us um he uh was actually on his way to Hawaii and canceled his uh vacation and instead came to California and shot this movie with us. Wow. Um, but we ended up writing it over about like a week. Um, and a month later, we literally set out on the road and filmed it in 14 days and 4,500 miles. Amazing, amazing. And, you know, and what I love so much about it is you say, you both have chronic illnesses, you both talk. So it's, it's coming from a place where you both know what you're talking about, you know, and yeah. you're talking to people who will understand. And Jen, I have so freaking got to commend you because talk about in between semesters, you just graduated <laughs> as a nurse. I mean, you took this illness that you have being a diabetic and you are a full fledged frontline worker now Hats off to you, my dear. Amazing. Thank you. You're very, very sweet. Uh, yeah, I, I was between semesters of nursing school at the time, and I became a nurse because uh, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when I was 20. Um, and I wanted to understand my illness more, and I also wanted to help other diabetics understand what they were going through more and to feel seen. And I think that's a big reason why we made this movie is I know Mindy and I talked a lot about feeling underrepresented as like both the diabetic community and the CRPS community. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as far as graduating and going right into a pandemic, I could have never anticipated that. <laughs> yeah, you so. Yeah, yeah, like no slacking for you, like that's it. No, that's no, fun. baptism by fire right in there. But hey, you know, if you're gonna learn, that's one way to do it. Yeah, and, I, and, and like I said, you know, everybody who watches this movie that may be going through what you, you ladies are going through in your real life can really feel it. Because, you know, Mindy, that scene, especially in the bathroom, when you're in the bathroom, I, I, I felt the pain in your hands. Like, I, I, you know, what you experience, like just simple things like pulling up your underpants or washing your hands or just whatever. And then Jen, with you, like when you talk about, I'm gonna order the pizza. Yeah, screw it. You know, I'll deal with it later. And yeah, she deals with it later, you know, but it, it's amazing to me, you know, how, how challenging, Mindy, was it for you to, I, I, you know, or just to, to play these women who are really you, like really put it all out there? Um, you know, I think the best thing about doing it in such a short amount of time is um, we didn't have time to overanalyze it or to become scared <laughs> about it. Yeah. Um, or think I can't do it. Um, it was like, we're doing this. And then the ball started rolling and then we were done. So there was no time to um, um, really doubt ourselves. It was full fledged in, I trust you, you trust me, let's just do it. Um, so, I mean, there were times when we both kind of have to like check each other just to make sure that we're doing it, we're representing in a, in a 
a good way, not not a good way. That's the wrong way to put it. No. But in, in an authentic way. Yeah, authentic. yeah an accurate way. Yeah. Because neither of us wanted to make a film about a disease or about illness. And we don't want people feeling sorry for people that have chronic illnesses. I mean, it's yeah. just, we just wanted to see that. So I don't know, I, I think the best thing was that we didn't have time to think. We but, just- Yeah, but, but at the end of the day, you're not, yes, it's about two girls who have these illness, but I think it's, it's positive. I think it gives people hope. Like, hey, yeah. I'm feeling that way too. Hey, I'm diabetic and maybe I will go take a road trip with yeah. my girl. Yeah, like, what and that was something that was very important to us is that because these experiences and these circumstances don't define us. And we know a lot of people, cause we're both very involved in the CRPS and diabetic community and yeah. they don't in define these other people either. So that was the thing is like, I feel like every time we've seen them, these illnesses represented on film, even though I don't think CRPS I've ever seen it represented on film. And I learned a lot from Mindy uh, about CRPS through this experience. Um, but as far as diabetes, every time I see it represented on film, it's always like, this like weak withering thing and, or it's like some kind of deficit. And we wanted to make a movie that showed that it wasn't a deficit. It was just a, a, a trait of a person or a part of who they are, not their entirety. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, and what's a good road trip without great music? Because the music is, is amazing. You cannot go in the car. Listen, I can't even drive around the corner without putting on my Sirius XM or whatever. I have to have music all the time. How, oh, how hard was it choosing your playlists for this? Um, it, that wasn't hard. Um, <laughs> most blessed. Everything about this movie was serendipitous, kismet, just to set that out. So when we decided to do the road trip like this, I was I said, well, I have to have music. Like I can't even finish writing scenes. I need music. Yeah. Okay? It's very important. And uh, Rob Sinska and I used to live in Shreveport, Louisiana, and we were huge fans of a band there called Superwater Sympathy, who later turned into Hydrogen Child. We had shot a music video for them, and you know we were just kind of crazy Uber fans. Yeah. Um, and they weren't really making music anymore. They've like moved on with their lives and are adulting very well. <laughs> and um, we gave them a call and said, hey, this is, we're in LA now, we're making a movie and we're making a road trip movie and we need music. Any way we could use some of your music. And they were like, guys, we love you guys. Yeah. We'll give you a whole catalog. Amazing. The music was great. I, I, is there a soundtrack that we can get or download yeah, on Spotify? It's a soundtrack. Or? Yeah. yeah. It's a great soundtrack that's actually um, um, interlaced with dialogue from the movie. So oh, you, awesome. You play, it's the whole journey of the movie. Um, with So the songs are in order, the quotes in between. You can have a, a mini version of the movie when you go by the soundtrack. I love that. That's a great, that's awesome. So Jen, if you were to hop in a car right now, what would be your top five favorite bands that you'd want in your car, in your playlist? Oh, geez, that's so hard. Well, Mindy and I, like, between playing Super Water Sympathy and Hydrogen Child, which we played to death, because we actually had to play it in the car, especially with that one song we could never get the lyrics to, which in reality, we could never get the lyrics to. <laughs> yeah. um, I mean, we were listening to, like, a lot of show tunes. We had a few moments where we were, like, doing Maureen and Rent, like, at the top of our lungs, which mm -hmm. just brings me so much joy as a former theater kid and still yes. a theater kid at heart. Yes. Um, but I mean, I love a good classic rock too. There was the in Vegas, I, Chris Lyons, our producer who gave up Hawaii, God bless him. He has a really good video of me, um, maybe a little tipsy because we went a little method for that scene, um, <laughs> going really hard in on some sticks. So yeah. I love anywhere from like Broadway to like hard rock, like classic rock. That's that's usually my jam for a good road trip. Anything you can sing to. Yeah. Me and Chris rocked out to some Billy Joel as well. So oh, yeah. Really, anything you can like really just pour your heart into at the top of your lungs. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, Mindy, so, you know, at the end of it, uh, because you guys started off as friends, I can't even imagine, you know, the, the friendship after the two weeks of being together for that much time. It must've really, you guys are gotta be besties for sure now. <laughs> <laughs> We're linked forever, no matter what. Like. Yeah. You did I think also what's great is like, we didn't even have a single argument or tiff in the, not once. Um, so like we knew we're like, we're good for the rest of our lives. Like I feel yeah. if something, COVID destroyed everything for yeah. us, you know, in the world. So it's like, I haven't been able to see her in a year, you know, next yeah. to me. And that makes me very sad. Yeah, well, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. linked forever. Like that's- yeah an experience that I'll, A, I'll never repeat. 
nor will I try. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, so, so so unique. Yeah, I think you ladies have to make all your movies together from here on in. <laughs> we definitely want to make worry. another I'm one. I'm still trying. <laughs> no, we want to. We want to. We're we're working on. We yeah. were working on the next one, and then COVID hit, and that put a pause yeah. on everything. So. Where as soon as like life gets a little bit more back to normal, we're gonna go back to writing again for our good, second feature. Good stuff. And before I wrap up today, uh, Jen, I gotta make mention of the Wizards of Waverly Place. How can I not? Because <laughs> my boys watched that show day in Aww. and day out when they were younger. And I wanted to ask you, you know, it was it was a great show. It really was. You, I talk about lifelong friends. I mean, you made some good pals on that show too. But at the end of the day. What is being on a show like that? How does that, you know, a Disney big series, Selena Gomez, like who, you know, I mean, really, come on. How does that change your life? How did it impact you? I mean, it changed my life entirely. I, it, it took, I mean, I've loved acting since I was like six years old and it made it something that wasn't just for me. It made it something that, and I had never considered that. I had always just thought acting was something I loved to do and I was lucky to get to do it whenever I could. Um, and, and being on Disney and having that experience, just like this experience I had with Mindy, I mean, we're forever bonded with this experience, just like I'm forever bonded with, you know, my cast from Wizards, because, I mean, we all went